Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about desklets. So right mouse click, we can change a lot of things. And one of the things is desklet or control alt M and you go inside this button here, desklets, it's the same. We have a clock desklet we can add. A little plus just provides it. You can put it wherever you want. Let's put it down there. A digital photo frame, a little plus adds pictures question is what pictures so configured with right mouse click there are no folders here so I'm gonna go to the place where I know there'll be pictures other locations computer user share backgrounds arch merge open and these pictures will come along and if we click on it we see more pictures delay seconds we're gonna be going to be too fast otherwise so every 30 seconds height and pixels we can make it a little bit bigger by 500 it's not so nice let's make it big smaller again and let's do its thing so the fade delay you can change that a little bit sepia black and white if you want to and that's that's that we have a digital photo frame. What is this launcher desklet? Well, a plus will tell us. We'll have this thing up here, maybe. If we click on it, we are straight away in the desklets. That's the only thing that happens. It opens system settings. Okay. Want to get rid? Right mouse click, edit launcher. We can change things, application, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, we can probably. Let's try something out. If we name it melt, and then what happens? Custom application, an application, custom application. Okay. And then we click it, and there you have melt. So, a little bit vibration is, I can, a little bit funny, really. <laughs> so, we have a launcher that's going to uh, launch something, and here we can launch, for instance, the Conky, because the Conky is a Conky, uh, Conky Zen, for instance. So AM, AM Conky, I think it's without an hyphen. And let's give it the Conky icon. So if we click here, we get this. Um, we can sort it alphabetically, like so, and get, for instance, our latest, newest edition working. Okay, that's a good test. So this thing is on top of the conky. That's that's good. And we can have the conkeys gone again. Okay. Okay. So we like it, we hate it. It's there. Remove this desklet. Let's remove that one as well. So these are the things that are installed by default. And now comes the fun. I will not do them all, but I'll let's do some of them. You see that we have here these uh, the stars, and the stars just means that people vote to it. Don't know how you vote for it, probably online. But let's install some of them. So if we click here, it's going to install, installing. Then it's in manage. Then in manage, you can configure it. But first of all, let's install it. We get this thing, and this thing can be moved again depending where you click here doesn't work that doesn't work doesn't work doesn't work here somewhere I get this possibility to change it and move it around we're now in London which is okay but I'm not living in London so let's go to this forecast find a forecast let's go to Brussels from Belgium Brussels Belgium and this is our forecast um, and we need to find our number. I don't think it's this one. I thought in previously that that was the one that it was that that's the number. But let's try anyway. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna try. It is different number anyway. And now we get the Antwerp number. Thought it was not the right one. So the one the question is now. Where is this, this Brussels number thing? This is not the correct number. 
Hmm. Brussels. Netanyahu, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to have the number for Brussels. Let me look for it and pause. Okay, what did I do? I shut down uh, Vivaldi altogether. And then I typed in New York. And then finally, finally, this number changed behind it. And that's the correct number for New York. Then we go inside here, we configure it, and we tell them that's Antwerp, so delete, and that's New York. So with tick loud, 4 degrees, not so much better in New York as in Belgium. So that's one of our um, other desolates. So it still depends, you still have to look. If this is not working, by the way, uh, take a look at all these things you can try out. Some of them require an API key, so it means that you have to log in and have to apply for a key. It doesn't cost, most of the time, it doesn't cost anything, but it's your personal key and um, you can use it a number of times per year or per month and then there will be no charge but if you're using it extensively then it's um, actually um, for a software program for instance for applications on your phone um, then you need to buy or have the service so it will not work depending on what you choose down here this number is changing when you change one of these so bbc will work just like that do take a look also at all the rest if you want to have the country there now it's in new york united states of america and we can have some more information four days of forecast i'm not sure when it will show up um, because i only see three days now so maybe we have to restart or maybe it's just too much information to provide from this BBC website. That's possible as well. Refresh the forecast and so on. See what you want to have. Current visibility. Visibility is good. Forecast pressure. That's the pressure. And humidity. That's humidity. Zoom by times. Zoom in. Make it bigger. Zoom out. Yeah, possible too. Okay. Layout horizontal, vertical, if you wanted to have like this. Icon styles, well, a lot of things we can choose. V clouds, why not? Weasel, all right. Sketchy, all right. Nice, right? So everything just works great out of the box. Bold city name, indeed. And then transparency. It's even more transparent. I don't like particularly the red color of this thing. So background color is black. Why is that red here? Wondering. Override, maybe this one. Yeah. So this is the color coming from our arc uh, theme from GitHub von Horst. Eh? So it's all red. In this case, maybe we do not want that to be all red. And we would like to go with the, the normal transparency, normal um, black look. Means that we have no... Oh, we can do this one. That's one we can change. Oh yeah, we can change everything. Let's start take something obviously wrong. No, nope, nothing changes here. If you activate it, then it works again. So the background color is black. So I'm wondering why it has this red look. Is it because we're just editing? Oh, Eric, it's just because we're editing. And that's it. Nothing more. The border is now oh so wrong. So why not take a grayish border? then we can get it a little bit more like so the look is now this look better so it's amazing actually how much you can tweak and team in this desklet so um, well done linux mint guys this is awesome well not really the linux mint guy but actually the guy who made this 
And we can, I think, we can find out who did. So who should we thank? What it does, let's, it has here an email. And here are the contributors, Chris Hesty. So thanks, it's a nice, uh, nice setup. We can change a lot of things here. So the weather desk, let's take a look at it. I think we've seen most of the things. Uh, top left. Okay, just try it out, what it does, and be happy about it. So moving this thing is a bit tricky. Sometimes it, it kicks in, and sometimes you'll still say, hey, what's going on? So next up, just go from top from top to down, but I'm choosing stuff I think I like. Okay, what's this? Simple system monitor, we like our conkeys. So what does this thing do? Plus, something popped up here. Uh -huh. Okay, right mouse click, that's nothing. Can we change stuff in here? There's an asterisk for some reason. Okay. <laughs> it says it can freeze and so on, it can crash. But this zero kilobyte is of course not correct. Um, it's too bad there is no configuration, right mouse click, nothing here for um, to set it to the correct one. But hey, um, that will be soon fixed after next releases. Um, getting rid of it is also possible, like so, yes. So let's wait for the next release. Clock tau, tame days, because there will, oh, is that one? Oh, that might be interesting for some of us uh, working with themes. A desktop for troubleshooting development in the Cinnamon user interface. That might be good. If you like to read these comic books in, well, it's not a PDF format, but it's very similar. And that's, that's this one. Reddit reader, you know, the website, desktop calculator, network users monitor. That's something more for me. How much do you download? How fast do you download? It's here doing something. Up here. Right mouse click doesn't do a thing. Right mouse click doesn't do a thing. So remove this desklet and let's get rid of it as well. Let's wait for an update. Might be a reason that uh, it's not working because we're on virtual machine. So I'm going to install it later on an SSD and put it in the text and binary clock. That will be uh, unreadable. Weather underground desklet is the same thing here. Sound shutdown temperature might be interesting to know. But then again, I will already know it will fail because in the conkeys we can't see the temperature either. And there you go. I was correct. Remove this desklet. So this thing really needs an SSD. Oh, I've installed it twice now. Okay. Okay, desklet, so install, right, minus, okay, D delete, okay, done, all the way down, and all the rest is just maybe battery level indicator you would like to see, but then again, I'm on desktop, so that will not work, <laughs> let's do one more, and then let's quit this video, let's stop this video. Binary, what does that look? Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if you can read the hour or not. I think it's the clock. And the clock is 1322, so let's be quick and try to read it. 1322. <clears throat> really don't know how to look at it. And those things moving there are the seconds. One, two, four, three. Yep, the seconds are moving up. <laughs> okay. Uh, you keep it whether you want it or not. It's just here. Up, oh, remove, and gone. That concludes our desklets. Um, have fun using them. Uh, some of them will be updated, I'm sure, in the, two, in the future. And it is quite easy to, well, have these extra elements on your desktop. Enjoy.